a couple of podcasts that I've been listening to lately in case you guys like podcasts as much as I do I listen to them in the car on walks you know at work when I can you know just all the time I listen to them and so I'm always kind of looking for new podcasts and just you know ones that fit my interest so normally I go for a lot of like true crime type podcasts as well as I do some comedy um, but it's mostly mostly true crime just what I I don't know what I find interesting and so one I wanted to share with you that um, I've really been enjoying is the thing about Pam so that is a Dateline podcast that is a really short podcast with only six episodes long so I think I, I listened to it in like two or three days um, the episodes are only like half an hour so really if you get on a binge you could listen to it all in a day and that is the story of Pamela Hupp, um, which, funny enough, is from the area that I am from. And so I think maybe that's also why I have such an interest in that podcast and why I enjoyed it so much is because she's from my area. And so I was so familiar with that because it was on the news all the time and just kind of everything that happened with her case. You know, I saw way before she was ever, you know, convicted of, of anything. So, um, yeah, she is from O'Fallon, Missouri, which is literally the town over from me. And so listening to this podcast and hearing all of these things, like in people that I know and stuff and people that I've heard of, it just, not that I am connected to that whatsoever. I don't know I, that I'm not connected to it whatsoever, but it's just it's when somebody is from your kind of hometown or something kind of big happens like that. I don't know I just found interest I just found a lot of interest in it so in general though it's a really messed up story and a surprising story and I feel like if Dateline made a whole podcast just about it and didn't just include it as one of their normal episodes that they also thought it was a special story like something you know extra messed up so I would highly recommend checking out the thing about Pam um, from Dateline I've also been listening just just to like the Dateline podcast so it kind of sounds like they basically take the audio from their show each episode and they put it online and I, I feel like they do that because sometimes they refer to oh a picture shown here but obviously you can't see them so I'm thinking it's just the audio from the um the show put on a podcast but that's great for me because then I can listen to those things and not have to be around to watch them so I really have been enjoying that. And then the last one's a little less uh, appropriate, but I've been listening to My Dad Wrote a Porno. Have you guys listened to that? It is so funny. It has made me a little uncomfortable at times. It's really graphic. Um, I mean, it's from the title, you can tell what it's about. But basically it's literally about a guy whose dad wrote an erotic novel. And so him and a couple of his friends get together and they read, they're reading this book out loud and just making fun of it and everything and it's really poorly written and it's just it's just so funny listening to not only the novel but their commentary on it. Um, yeah, it, it, it's definitely X-rated though, so beware, adults only, but it is so freaking funny. I can't, I can't get over it. So I've really been enjoying that one too kind of on the side. I have to do that one in little spurts because that one I can kind of get, like I can't listen to too much of it at one time. I kind of do an episode or two and then I'm, I'm over it. Um, but yeah, so I've been listening to that. But if you guys listen to any podcasts, leave me your recommendations down below because I'm always looking for new podcasts. Some of my favorites are Serial. I loved that. Up and Vanished. Really, really enjoyed that. Generation Y, that's a true crime podcast. Sword and Scale, I really have enjoyed a lot of, not so much the newer episodes, um, but I really enjoyed a lot of the older episodes of Sword and Scale. 
those episodes have like actual 911 calls and things like that so they seem really realistic and it's just like good storytelling to me I can't think of any other ones but those are kind of like my top my top favorites but yeah leave me any podcast recommendations that you have down below and then what do you guys think this is that new goodwill flannel I got I'm gonna wear it to work today um, and I'm just wearing a gray t-shirt underneath it I had an orange t-shirt underneath it thinking that would be like really fall and fun and festive but I wasn't totally happy with the way that looked so I went a little bit more muted but right now it is 55 degrees outside um, I think today the high is supposed to be only 69 so not even getting to 70 and it is just so nice out I'm so sad that I have to work because I just want to like enjoy this beautiful day um, but it is what it is you gotta work to make that money getting on story making pictures to get out here is the uh, one two pitch inside and off screen to that ring it's a even Steven now at two and two. He is seeing oh, everything so well right now. He was on pitches like crazy last night and has seen everything right out of Fulton Evich's hand here so far. So Fulton Evich has a really good slider, Mike. Beware of that on two strikes. And he fires and there it is. That's that slider. He swings and strikes out to the big crowd. And after a half an inning, uh, the Braves come to bat no score. Man, oh man, has it been a great morning. I have gotten so much done. Um, I got up this morning and I cleaned my bathroom. I've been up since like before 6 a.m. And then I just took the best walk ever. It's supposed to be almost 80 degrees today, but this morning it was hanging out around 55, 60. Oh my goodness, you guys. It was such a nice walk. I think I went about three miles or so. But it just, it was so nice just walking through the neighborhood and seeing like all the fall Porsche decor and everybody's decorating for Halloween and fall and there's pumpkins and oh my gosh, it was just so, so nice. So I just got out of the shower. I'm just kind of chilling. I'm finishing Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So you guys saw that a little bit at the end of last vlog. I did not finish the movie that, um, that night. So I have been rereading the Harry Potter series. I kind of, you know, tend to reread it every year or two, um. I don't know. I just, I love it so much. I have to, I can't get enough of it. So what I'm kind of doing is as I read the book, I'm watching the movie afterwards. So right now I am on the third book. I'm on the prisoner of Azkaban, but I hadn't finished watching the Sorcerer's Stone and the Chamber of Secrets. Um, yeah, so I'm finishing the Sorcerer's Stone right now. I'm almost done with it. And then later on today, I am doing my cousin's makeup for homecoming. She is going, she's a sophomore in high school, so she's going to her, her first ever homecoming tonight. So I'm going to go do her makeup for that. And then I have not seen my mom since uh, I went on vacation. So I'm going to go over there and have dinner with her tonight. So that's kind of my day. Also, hopefully it's just like a really chill, it's a beautiful Saturday. I've got the back door open, letting like that fresh air in. It is so nice. I hope your guys' weather wherever you guys live is as good as the weather is here right now.